Welcome back to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here once again by one and only Lauren Falco with Destination El Paso. One and only. One and only. We are once again in downtown El Paso. Last episode, we were at International. We still technically are, but there is a hidden hidden gem, vegan, hidden gem a vegan place called Lick It Up right here. So Lauren, tell us about this restaurant. So Lick It Up is uh, it's one of my husband's favorites. In, in downtown, they were actually kind of one of the first of its kind to do vegan food, especially Mexican vegan food in the city. Um, and they've had extreme success. Very, very excited for them. They, uh, the chef, Edgar, just actually won Guy's Grocery Games, which is awesome. awesome. We love a Guy Pierre. Yes. But Guy Pierre, he stands here. <laughs> um, but he just won Guy's Grocery Games with a dish that we will be bringing out very shortly, um, as well as he, they've been featured on Dider Driving Room Dives, also Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri loves this place. Like incredible dishes. They're all rooted in, of course, like great Mexican food, um, and they're all vegan. So if you're interested in trying vegan or if you've never had it, great place to start because it's going to be delicious either way. Um, and they are looking to eventually move into brunch every month, if hopefully every week. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just really excited to try some of their food a little bit. Lauren, let's get straight to business. Comic-Con is this week. There are tons of people in the borderlands who are going to be heading from all around to see this amazing lineup of stars that are actually coming to Comic-Con. Tell us all about it. Comic-Con's so cool. I, you know, we started this event a while back with uh, with the group that, that runs it, um, and we host them every year at the convention center, and we love having them because, first of all, Incredible costumes, like the costume, the cosplay that is happening and art. It, it really is, um, and people take it very seriously. They have some really incredible guests, celebrities. Um, I know we could, we just talked about some of our Family Guy, some fantastic beats, fantastic beats, and where to find them. Um, so there's some really cool celebrities, and you can find all of their celebrity lineup on ElPasoComicCon.com, um, or you can visit ElPasoLive.com. Moving on to the Plaza Theater, a wonderful concert mm -hmm. being held this week. Uh, Teo Gonzalez, he comes here often and we love having him. Um, he will be here this weekend and we should definitely check him out. Um, if you love like romantic, it, I, it kind of reminds me of like soap operas, like that beautiful like build up music. That's his little that's date vibe. vibe. Yeah, a little, little romance. So you can find tickets at alpasolime.com. Something really cool happening at Old Sheepdog Brewery for lovers of Shakespeare or maybe those who would like to actually experience this particular thing. You know, uh, I never thought I would say beer and shakes Shakespeare. Oh my God. Shakespeare. Oh my God. We're on to something. <laughs> We're on to something. We did it. We did it, Joe. They are performing at Old Sheepdog, uh, Hamlet, the classic story of Hamlet. Um, they're they're going to be producing it at Old Sheep Dog. So you can go have a beer, you can try some of their food trucks, which usually they have amazing food trucks at Old Sheep Dog. Um, it's in Central, very, very nicely located. Um, and it's just a cool event to go check out. It's kind of a, a unique event. Pink Floyd Laser Spectacular is happening this weekend. It's a really exciting event. They do some really cool stuff. They have like, usually it's it's these insane visuals. It's all your favorite Pink Floyd songs. With uh, a laser. With a laser, yes with a laser. Uh, never again, never thought I'd say that, but it's really, really fun. Um, and you can find tickets at elpasolive.com. There's going to be a clothing swap and a vegan potluck. You might ask what a clothing swap is. Um, it's essentially like clean out your closet, bring the clothes you don't want and swap it for other clothes. So it's a really Perfect. easy way to like update your wardrobe without doing, without spending money, without doing too much effort. Uh, this is at Sunset Parlor, which is in Sunset Heights. Um, a, kind of a new place. It's like an artist hub and they do a lot of cool workout classes. Um, they have their own event schedule as it is, but go check that out. That's happening this weekend as well. Um, and it's a free event. We are so <laughs> ready. Lots of exciting events. Ready to uh, Exciting meals right here. These are the Chilaquiles at Lick It Up that they serve during their brunch time on yes. Sundays. But we also have Tacos del Hambre that were featured on the 
uh, on the show. Guy's Grocery Games. Guys so it games. won him Guy's Grocery Games, guys. Like, these are tacos that are award-winning, essentially. Award-winning tacos. Show-winning. <laughs> exactly. So you want to try those. We want to try the chilaquiles. So yeah. before we get into those, uh, I'm going to leave you with this. If you miss any dates, times, events, go to visitalpaso.com. You can find everything there. And we'll see you here next week. I was making them, watching them being made out.